Santa Claus pulled up, come get the loot You better be watching what you do Not that least you got to go and do You been good, haven't you? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla. If you're new, I film hygiene, fragrance, and lifestyle related videos. So if that's something you're into, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. So in today's video, I'm going to be period hygiene shopping because I know that thing is coming soon and I want to be proactive and not reactive. So I'm up early at the grocery store because I want to try to film when there's not a lot of people here. Everybody's at church. It is Sunday and this is also Vlogmas Day 10. So I ran out of essentials. So I'm just going ahead and picking some stuff up and showing you what i got so if you want to come period hygiene shopping with me then just keep watching so i don't know why my phone was looking like that i tried to fix it and it just got worse so anyway just please bear with me but of course since we are period hygiene shopping we have to start over here in the pads so i'm just looking around to see which ones i want to try today and usually i go for the l brand but here lately it's very hard to find the maxi pad version of the l brand um here we have the always overnight pads and i do like these because they are large but i don't feel that it's necessary to get that little six pack and here is a period underwear that I really like, but they only had a size small and medium. And I need that large slash extra large, but they didn't have that. Those sell out pretty quickly, but I might try to go to another store to find them. And over here is like your little organic brand. But as you can see, the pickings were very slim. So here is the L brand. They do have a 42 pack of the ultra thins, but I'm tired of trying to make the ultra thin pads work. I want the maxi pads. I don't ever find them in Target or Walmart anymore. I have to just get really lucky to find them. So it really sucks because there are 42 in there. And I do like the U by Kotex, but those don't have wings. And I need wings because I need security. And I don't like the pad just sitting there and it has the potential to move around. So I just am going over here and looking at my tried and true, which is always. I would like the pure cotton um ones but those are also pretty thin as well so the overnight ones pretty much do me justice even though i do use them during the day so next i'm just over here looking at the feminine wash so we have the omv and we also have the vagicil and here is the always feminine wash which is fairly new they actually added it a couple of months ago so i was excited to see that always had their own feminine wash we have the summer's eve active so i'm assuming that's for women who are pretty much on the go. I don't use Summer's Eve, but if you use that, definitely let me know how that works out for you. And then of course we have Honey Pot. I don't use that one either because I use a washcloth and that little foam doesn't really do good on a washcloth to me. So here is the feminine wash that I had last, which is at Queen V and I really did enjoy that one. So I would purchase that again, but I just wanted to try something new today. And then here is the matching wipes to go with the Queen V. It is called Fun, like PH. So a little play on words. That's what this brand likes to do. And then they also had a cleansing bar. So now I'm just over here looking at the flushable wipes. And they actually didn't have any flushable wipes that I particularly like because I don't really care for the Cottonelle wipes because they kind of break up easily. And um, of course, I could have got some baby wipes, but I wanted to get something that I can actually flush. And our septic system still, you know, it's okay after we flush our wipes. So there's definitely no need to be worrying about that. But I just rather have the flushable wipes than the baby wipes in this instance. But now I'm just over here looking at the bar soap because, of course, when you are on your period, you want to feel nice and fresh and clean. And I'm just picking this up to look at it because I did not know that they had that scent in the foaming wash. So that was pretty cool to see. But you can barely see it. But the Dove Cucumber and White Tea scent, that's my all-time favorite fresh scent. It is so good. I have been loving that scent for years, especially in the deodorant. It is so fire. But I just wanted to look at this one. And this smelled pretty nice and watery and clean. So I did like that. 
Um, I just wanted to come over here and look at the tree cut. This has nothing to do with the period hygiene routine, but I thought it was so cute that they had the little minis. I love every time I see the minis. I wish they made every single scent in a mini. So the impulse urge was real, but I put it back and I had self-control. So yay me. <laughs> but I'm over here looking at the Dr. Teals and I wanted to see if they had the menstrual um relief one but they actually did not so i didn't pick any of those up but dr teals is a great brand very nice to have um of course everything just looks so good right now i just want to buy everything so i'm looking at the dove bubble bath because those are not something i see all the time so they had the lavender and chamomile mango and almond and rose and peony but I don't mess with any of their mango scents except for the body polish. And then over here, I'm just looking at the whipped body butter from Tree Hut. Of course, we've seen all these scents before, but I just like to look at it because Tree Hut is bae. But as you can see, it is pretty expensive in this store. So I would not buy Tree Hut from this store unless it was something exclusive. NYX, you got your nerve selling this for $26.99. I just wanted to show that because what? We are not an Ulta girl. But anywho, I'm looking at these fragrance gift sets because, you know, if you're a fragrance junkie, you get easily distracted by the fragrance that they have. So I'm just looking at all these little gift sets and they had some very nice ones. Um, just some ones that we've seen before. That Juicy Couture one, I really want that one because those scents smell really good. And they did release those. Um, I've seen them in Walmart. And then they had lots of Dove gift sets. So those gift sets were actually different ones. They just look all the same from that angle. And then I was just looking at the Burt's Bees. And then I went around the corner. They had a little kids gift set. They had some toothpaste. It had some little toothbrushes. Irish Spring, some more Dove. We have some soft soap that has three different scents in it. And then of course these cute little Dr. Teals. I really wanted to pick one up, but I had to stay strong. <laughs> and then we have some Olay and some shaving gift sets. So now we're gonna jump into the haul. Okay, so we're back in the car. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to do a voiceover because I forgot my AirPods at home and I didn't wanna be talking all loud and I'm not with anybody and it was just the most. So <laughs> y'all, this lady, I don't know what was up with her. From the moment I got to the store, she was just hopping in front of me every chance she can get. Like, when we went to get the carts, she just hopped right, like, you know how you go in the grocery store and there's carts, like, directly by the door, but then they go, like, across? She got, like, right directly by the door, just stopped. I, could, I didn't have a chance, almost ran into her. And then I was over there trying to look at the gift sets, and right before I got over there, she stopped and asked her husband, Is there anything you want over here? No, you sure? <sighs> y'all it's the lord's day but the devil's trying me okay <laughs> and i need my little fan because it's not as cold as i thought it was today um so of course you see i have on this big old hat and this coat um it's 42 degrees i know that's like freezing to other people but to us people here in the midwest and colder climates it's like i didn't need a heavy coat today <laughs> So I am sweating after that grocery store trip. But this is why I always keep my fan. I told you guys, shopping is hot. But I am starting to get hungry. And it is 9.44 a.m. And the store was a little more packed than I thought it would be. So there's that. But it's so funny because this is like my first vlog of vlogmas. Everything else has been sit down. Like to me, vlogmas is just making a video every single day. Like it doesn't have to be a vlog, but... We do what we're gonna do but i'm just gonna show you guys the haul really quick luckily i'm off to the side of the building so i'm gonna show you guys what i actually picked up they did not have my maxi pads in the organic and the l brand they just had the ultra thin so i'm not i don't rock with those like for real like i can sometimes maybe towards the end but like at the beginning i cannot rock with those so I just got my tried and true. I just got my always maxi and these are the overnights, but I do wear them during the day. So um, we don't want to have any accidents at all. So I'll just use these for day and night because they did not have those period underwear in my size. I might go somewhere else to pick them up like CVS or something. But as you can see, our local grocery store at Meijer some of this stuff is more expensive in here than it would be at another place. Yeah, I couldn't go crazy and I still spent $58. So next, I went ahead and picked up this Always 
cleanse refreshing wash so this is feminine wash and i have seen people talk about this so i wanted to go ahead and give it a try for myself and this says that it is ph balance so the one that i used last which was the clean v brand i did enjoy that one but i have been wanting to try this always one for a minute and i do want to try the monostat one as well because it has boric acid in it so i'm going to try that and then I did get a, the Queen V brand, so I did pick up these pH wipes. So they say fun wipes, but they're just some little feminine wipes. And you guys know I'm huge on any type of wipes. I need to make sure I'm getting that old blood off and I don't wanna, you know, be smelling bad throughout the day. I do like to have wipes, like no matter what, even if I'm not on my period, I just like to wipe myself up throughout the day. It just helps me to feel more fresh and, you know, just make sure I don't have any type of anything just sitting on me all day i hate that feeling i definitely want to keep the wipes on deck i did pick up some cotton nail flushable wipes and i only picked these up because they did not have any meyer brand wipes or any other wipes and i don't really like cotton nail wipes like these to me break too easily but since that's all they had this is just what i'm going to use i'll just use a couple at a time but i just can't live without having the flushable wipe like it is just so implanted in my brain. I cannot live without it. So I just had to pick these up since I was here because I'm not tracing clear across country today. I showed you guys this in the store and I was really interested in this. So this is the Queen V cleansing bar. And this is in the scent. I didn't even notice it had a scent. So it had a, it's in the scent wild berry. So now I kind of don't know about this because I don't really use scented products unless I'm in like the bath, like unless I'm taking a bath and that doesn't like mess me up because I don't take baths every day and like heavily scented things. So I don't know. It says that it's developed with a gynecologist and free from parabens and soap. It's very light. I don't really smell much, but I don't really know. So our ph balance queen v bar is a refreshing is a cleansing bar formulated without harsh ingredients found in traditional soap blah 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 so i don't know guys like i didn't know that this had wild berry as a scent so who knows i probably wouldn't use it as my everyday wash at all i might just use that all over my body um this has nothing to do with anything but i did pick up some floss picks because i was out and i cannot live without floss picks it's to the point where i don't even like regular floss that much anymore i just want to use my floss pick pick up this bar soap finally i've been wanting to try for so long so this is the dove sweet cream and peony scent and i kept seeing miss joanna haul this and she seems to really enjoy this so i finally picked it up <laughs> i wanted to give this a try because it just looks so good to me i don't know like the sweet cream just seems like it's so relaxing and when it's that time of the month i need a lot of relaxing things i need to just feel good i need to feel clean and just calm so this looks like it'll be like that so there are six bars in here i've been trying to go through my bar soap i have not bought um bar soap in a long time um other than that antibacterial what is that dial soap so i'm trying to go through my bar soaps right now because there was a time when i like really started getting into like hygiene like more i was buying so many bar soaps i did not care i was picking up anything i was it was crazy it was mayhem <laughs> i was picking up whatever i could and i didn't care so i got that and then as you guys seen as well i finally seen some dove bubble bath so i wanted to go ahead and give this a try and i did see this in my sis stars empties video her mom was using this so i was like let me go ahead and try if it's good enough for mom it's good enough for me so i picked up the lavender and chamomile scent because they only had like the rose and peony and then they also had that mango and i don't mess with that mango like the only thing i like the mango in is the body polish but other than that I don't like the bar soap, the body wash, none of that in the mango scent. But, you know, lavender and chamomile, I don't really have any more lavender soap. 
or bubble bath or anything so i think that this is you know pretty good i don't even know if i have any more lavender lotion i don't i think i have lavender and vanilla um from aromatherapy from bath and body works i do have that lotion and i have honey and lavender mist from bath and body works but as far as like any type of lavender soap i don't think i have any at all the last two items have nothing to do with this but i needed some face powder so I picked up this from the brand Black Radiance. I remember my best friend used to buy this all the time when we were a little younger. So I wanted to go ahead and give it a try because she swore by this face powder. So I wanted to try it because I have no more finishing powder at all. Like I'm all out. I have used my stuff up. And when you see my empties, you are gonna laugh at my little wet and wild contour palette because I use it as finishing powder. Y'all, I I like I use that thing to the to the bone, like to down to the bone. So yeah i don't have any more so i ran out of that and then i i also tried this i picked up this lipstick because i do want to try this i don't have any red lipstick i noticed i do have like some creamy red lipstick but i don't really enjoy liquid lipstick in red i noticed um i remote mainly i mainly like the stick of red lipstick so this is also from the brand black radiance so I want to try this out it was only about two dollars for this lipstick and i feel like that's perfect because i don't wear red lipstick a lot but i've been craving a nice red lip especially for the holidays i just want something vibrant and pretty and classy and classic at the same time so i want to go ahead and try that out so um, i'm gonna go home now and do the voiceover and edit this video real quick and put it up for you guys so make sure you guys tune in tomorrow for vlogmas day 11 i can't believe i have gone this far i've only missed one day i want to try to make that up but who knows if i don't i don't it is what it is <laughs> but i love you guys so much and make sure you tune in for tomorrow's video bye guys